Can creatine cause you to lose your hair? This is a question that I get asked an awful lot. A lot of people on the internet ask it as well. So let's look at the evidence for this. It turns out there is a clinical study on creatine, and this is the one that people tend to recite an awful lot when they talk about creatine and hair loss. It came out in 2009. It's titled Three Weeks of Creatine Monohydrate Supplementation Effects Dihydrotestosterone to Testosterone ratio in college age rugby players. So this study comes out of South Africa. It involves 20 male rugby players. They give them creatine supplements and they notice that during the loading phase of creatine, which is the very first week where people load up on creatine, they take about 20, 25 grams a day. They find that the dihydrotestosterone levels, the DHT levels, they're 56% higher during the loading phase of creatine than they were at the beginning of the study. Those DHT levels were still 40% higher during the maintenance phase of the creatine cycle. Maintenance phase is where people usually take three to five grams a day. So elevated levels of DHT are linked to hair loss, also known as alopecia. So this is where people are getting the idea that creatine may be linked to hair loss. Well, there are some problems with this investigation. Number one, it was basically a two week long study and they weren't looking for hair loss in these individuals. Rather, this was a creatine study. It wasn't a hair loss study. Nobody was counting hairs on people's heads to see if they lost any hair. Also, this study only involved 20 guys, which isn't a lot. And unfortunately, that's kind of par for the course with dietary supplement investigations. Another problem with this investigation is that testosterone levels did not go up in these guys. Well, wait a minute, DHT, dihydrotestosterone, comes from testosterone. So how did DHT levels go up, but testosterone levels didn't go up? Another problem with this study is that it came out in 2009, and I don't see any follow-up studies to this investigation. Not even the researchers that performed this study have followed it up. Given its popularity in some circles, like weightlifting circles, I'm surprised that nobody has picked up the gauntlet and tried to replicate these findings. So based on this, I'm not ready to throw creatine under the bus as a cause of hair loss. I don't think there's enough proof, but what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know.